Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is a very exciting foundation Friday because look what I just got in the mail. Ugh, ugh, it's heavy. The CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Let me show you what's inside. Oh, it's so heavy. It's like a big foundation pizza. Are you ready? All 40 shades of their new matte foundation. I'm speechless. I've always wanted to be sent an entire shade range of foundation and CoverGirl is the first brand to ever do that. So thank you CoverGirl because this is the most amazing package ever and I am so excited to have all of these. Now as you can see, the very top row, it starts with L, so I'm assuming that's light. The next one has an M for medium, T for tan, and D for deep. So I'm definitely gonna be picking out of the tan row today. And they also gave me four different primers. This one is their skin smoothing primer. This is their color neutralizing primer their pore minimizing primer, and their illuminating primer. Now, according to my little handy dandy pamphlet, the True Blend Matte Made Foundation is supposed to minimize pores, control shine, feel comfortable on your skin, and stay put for up to 12 hours. This foundation also has a lot of claims. It's claiming to be oil-free, so you don't get shiny. It's supposed to be transfer resistant, so it doesn't come off on your clothes. It's supposed to be pore minimizing, making your skin look very smooth. These are all great things. You know, it looks good on paper, but I need to know the truth because that's what we do on Foundation Fridays. We put foundations to the test. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this True Blend Matte Made Foundation to my face. Let's start off with figuring out what shade I am. So I think I'm gonna start with this color T50. Ooh, it has a pump. I like that. I'm just gonna swatch a little bit on my finger here. Ooh. That actually might be a perfect Match. And that was off my first guess. That's, I, I think I deserve a round of applause for that one. It's not gonna get any better than this. I don't even wanna open any other shades because then I can't give them away. So I'm just gonna go with T50. And then we're gonna move on to the primer. Now CoverGirl also has several different primers and I'm going to be using the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Skin Primer. This is their color neutralizing one. I wanted to use this one because I do obviously have a lot of redness from some acne and scars. So this is supposed to neutralize redness and brighten skin while correcting uneven skin tone. And mine's very uneven. So this is the one I wanna use. And it does have a kind of green tint to it, which kind of goes with the whole color correcting thing that we've talked about in my other videos. It says it's fragrance free, but I think it smells good. It smells, has like a floral scent to it. Wow, I do think that that green primer actually kind of neutralized my face. I'm not as red and in your face anymore, so. I am liking this primer thus far. And now let me grab the foundation once again, T50 12 Hour Matte Foundation, True Blend Matte Made. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender. Let's do a little pump, see how much this does. Wow. That is the perfect shade for me. I'm so happy. Often I get a lot of foundations that are too like yellowy or like the golden undertone, but I'm starting to think I'm more of a cool undertone like this one. And it just matches so well. And I'm actually getting some really good coverage. I'm liking it. And it's cover girl, so that means it's drugstore and affordable. Wow. That is so nice. So when you first apply it, I don't think it's super matte instantly, but I think as it settles in, it's going to become more matte. I will say that this foundation is definitely buildable. You can probably can get a light to medium coverage. It's very lightweight and it doesn't feel heavy or cakey. To keep it in the whole CoverGirl family, I'm gonna grab the Vitalist Healthy Concealer. Let's see if this color works. Now I'm going to blend in my concealer. Hmm, 
I do wish the concealer had a little bit more coverage, but we're gonna make it work. So now I'm going to set my face and finish everything else. Much better. So I ended up using a couple more CoverGirl products on my face, just an FYI. I used the CoverGirl Liquid Liner. This is their liquid liner number whoop, 325, getting a little excited. I also used the Katie Cat Palette. This is Katy Perry's eyeshadow palette, one of them, by CoverGirl on my eyes. I'm also wearing the CoverGirl Queen Collection Major Shade on my lips. This is the color Rebel. So now that my full face is complete, my final thoughts are, in some parts of my face, I kind of wanted a little bit more coverage, but on camera, it's actually looking very nice. Now, as some of you may know, CoverGirl already has a True Blend foundation. Their original one had 21 shades, but this one is their new formulated formula that is matte, and there's 40 different colors to choose from. Now, according to the CoverGirl website, as of right now, it is sold at Walmart, CVS, and Walgreens, retailing for $8.44 at Walmart and $7.34 at CVS, and it's currently out of stock at Walgreens. So, might have a little bit of price difference depending on where you go, but it's obviously a very affordable foundation. My main test on Foundation Fridays is to see how long the foundations really last on your skin throughout the day, especially for someone like me who has very oily skin. So that's why I'm very excited that this is a matte foundation, but how matte is it really going to keep us for how long? So it is currently 2.30 p.m. I'm going to do my hair, run some errands, and come back at the end of the day, and we'll see how long this foundation really holds up. And I'm back, it is now 9.30 p.m., so I've had on this foundation for a total of seven hours. Didn't quite make it the full 12 hours that the foundation does claim to last, but I think we're at a good point right now. So this is where I am. This is how shiny I am and how matte it was able to keep me. If anything, I think the concealer might have gotten a little blotchy on my forehead or maybe around here. So I do want to try this foundation again this week with a different concealer, but the foundation on its own, I'm really enjoying. So just like all my Foundation Fridays, at this point I then grab my oil absorbing sheets. These are by Clean & Clear. You can get any Walgreens, CVS, whatever brand you want. But I use these to see how much oil comes off my skin. Oh, that's a good sign. It's barely any. Let me just blot one side at a time. Remove the oil without removing the oil. All right, so here's the oil that came off my skin. There was a pretty good amount of oil, but there is not a lot of foundation on here which is a very good sign. And goes along with the whole theory that it is transfer proof. So I'm really happy to see that not a lot of foundation came off as well. And now that I was able to blot, I think it looks really good again. So overall, concluding thoughts, I am very happy with the new CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I'm excited to continue to use this throughout the week, so make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee so you can see how well this does on a non-first impression basis, maybe with a different primer, maybe with a different concealer. Let's keep playing with our new friend here. If you enjoy my Foundation Fridays and want to see more foundation reviews here on Bianca Renee today, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I post foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair videos on Sunday, so I hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.